Good afternoon, welcome on in to the afternoon edition of Palm Day Park. Courts are ready, let's rock in Judge Simpson's Riddell as we rock through Dominion. Court is still in a brief recess. Mr. Jawand Richards, you are in court. You cannot be smoking a blunt. Damn. I don't know if that nigga slow or that nigga slow. Excuse me. The 14A District Court for County Washington State of Michigan is now back in session. All those having business before the court draw near, the Honorable J. Cedric Simpson presiding. The individual that's labeled iPhone 5, what is your name? iPhone 6, excuse me. What is your name? <clears throat> iPhone 6, identify yourself. I want to know who I know you are. Six, I know that you're hearing me. If you don't identify yourself, I'm kicking you out. You won't be in, and you're going to end up with a bench warrant because I'm not going to have that language in my courtroom. Kick him oh, out. That was me. I'm sorry. What is your name? What is your name? Gregory Ross. Sir, Sir, this is a courtroom, yes. although it be virtual. You will not I'm use sorry. that language. It, you will not use that language ever in my courtroom. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Court calls the case of the judge of the state of Michigan is... versus Christopher Pedro Di Diego Ramirez. Good afternoon, Your Honor. How are you doing today? Jessica you Blanche just, you just saw. What do you think? I'm fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you. For calls case, people versus Stacy. Is it Walbeco? Is that a Q? It is a Q. So Walbeck. Good morning, Your Honor. Joseph Paul Pierre Court on behalf of Miss Walbeck. Last one today, Judge. Promises, promises. He'll be back. <laughs> I know he'll he'll just show up. <laughs> and Miss Walbeck, can you say your name for the record? Stacy Walbeck. Your Honor, likewise in this case, we are here for sentencing in this matter. Uh, we believe the recommendation of probation is fair and well considered, and we would ask the court to adopt the same. Walbeck, is there anything you want to tell the court before I impose sentence? Mm, no, sir. Really. I'd rather listen. To you. I'd rather listen to you than your attorney. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just saying. That's the truth. <laughs> it, it, no, it really is. All right. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to place you on six months prosecutor deferred uh, program. You're to pay four hundred eighty dollars fines and court costs, one hundred eighty dollars probation oversight fees. When can you pay that, ma'am? Um, I can I put four hundred on my credit card. No, you can pay with credit card. Okay, yeah, they'll yeah. take credit card. Oh, well, it's the total is going to. We'll come take up. credit card, jewels, diamonds, silver, <laughs> first first born, first born. anything that spends. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. 
Um, um, so how are you going to pay this man? Six hundred and sixty dollars. I can put four hundred at my credit card today. Four hundred today, Your Honor, and then could we get thirty days to pay the remainder? So that can be sufficient. I hope so. Yeah. I'm... Okay. You're telling me, you're... ma'am. Yes. How how can you get this paid? You're. Yeah. Um, I'm trying. You got to talk to me. No matter what Mr. Hall says, I try to be a fair man. Judge is compassionate. Just tell him you. Uh, no, I'm not compassionate. Don't uh, judge, don't sell yourself. I don't, I don't like yeah. people. <laughs> <I'll go ahead. laughs> tell, them, tell them what it is that you can do that you can actually live up to, and uh, based on what you know your financial circumstances. Um, I've I've had a lot of cancellations because of the weather. Um, I'm struggling a little bit, but I'm gonna try. Can I um, pay the rest? Maybe a hundred dollars a month. Is, yeah. After, after, after that? that, I can put. I'm going to max out my credit card right now and put. Okay, okay, but now, Miss Wellback, you max out your credit card. What are you going to do if something happens? I don't what know. Are gonna, what are you going to do? Suffer. <laughs> I'm just. I'm sorry. It's been really tough lately. I hear you. With the pandemic and everything. I'm trying to, I'm in the process of trying to get a loan off of my retirement also. I'm waiting to hear on that. I'm sorry. What are you sorry about? I'm sorry about all of this. Just whew, trying to maintain composure. I'm sorry, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Walbeck. Here's what it sounds like to me, because you've been struggling through the pandemic and everything else, just trying to keep yourself employed, trying to keep yourself afloat. And yes, maybe, sir. And then you end up in a circumstance like this, and maybe you just need a break a little bit. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, Ms. Blair, I'm going to change the, the prosecutor's deferred. I'm going to make it nine months prosecuted deferred, but I'm not doing that. I don't want any additional probation oversight fees added. It's going to be the same. I'm going to just, we're just going to stretch out this time. And you're going to pay $100 per month that says arranged by probation. I'm not going to ask for anything right now because I, I get okay. where you are. And that $100 per month will begin July 1. Okay, thank you, Your Honor. Okay. You can take a breath for a moment, okay? Can I, uh, I'm sorry, Teresa Clara. Can I ask um, that the court set that review hearing at the nine month oh, yeah. mark at February 8th? Thank you. February 8th, 2023. Thank you, Ms. Pilar. And that will be at 9 a.m. I'll order 93 days in jail that is suspended. Okay. All right. Ms. Walmart, no matter what he tells you, I did that. I did that for you. I didn't do that for Hall. Okay. Yeah. You got <laughs> that. You, see, Judge, you proved me right. right. <laughs> what did you say, <laughs> Judge? You went and proved me right about that uh, compassion thing, though. That no, just, no, no, just no, say <laughs> that wasn't. No, don't mistake that. So now the next person has to pay. So I'll get back on track. All right. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Take care. Take care, Your Honor. Take care, Miss Pilar. Thank you. Thank you. Court calls case of the people versus Albana. Is it Methasani? Andrew Meyer on behalf of Albana Methasani. Ms. Methasani. Oh, yes. It's Albana Methasani. Some people pronounce it Alabama. Some people pronounce it Albana, but it is pronounced Albana. Thank Teresa you. Blair, Teresa Blair on behalf of probation. Your Honor, may I and counsel approach? Hello. All right, on this matter, uh, the court has, we've had a uh, brief bench conference with counsel on probation. The court on its own motion is going to adjourn sentencing in this matter to July 13th. Court calls the case of uh, the people versus Alex Brown. And we are asking the court to adopt most of probation's recommendations, but we are asking that you consider a shorter amount of jail time um, for two reasons. One, he did already serve five days previously on the first violation. 
Um, and second, he just will very likely lose his job if he has to serve 10 consecutive days. Right. Except that he's got violations. He did have a second violation. Um, he does maintain it was an accidental use of alcohol, that it was something that was baked into a, a dish that his mother had made. Um, I know the court stands. Does he want a hearing on that? I mean, I no. If that's what you want to come with, then you got to come with that. But I, I'm going to tell you that I've been doing this a minute. That that's not right. I mean, right. And he does. If you keep wanting to assert that, then maybe the ten days isn't even enough. Understood. So what's he want to do? If he wants a hearing on it, I'll have a hearing. He doesn't want a hearing on that. He's just asking the court for leniency, given the situation. Um, he's asking for five days jail time as opposed to the 10. Is there anything you want to say before I impose sentence? Your Honor, I just want to take uh, responsibility. I know I signed a sheet that said I would not eat or can ingest anything with alcohol in it. I know I violated that. I am very sorry. And I Twice. Apologize for Twice. You yes. violated Yes, that is, yes. So we get it clear. Yes, yes, Your Honor, very clear. Um, I just wanted to say, Your Honor, like I, I really want to pay and be able to start paying off all the court fines and everything I owe. If I have to do 10 days consecutively in jail, I'm afraid I might lose my job. And I, I'm making okay money right now and I just really like to keep it so I can continue to pay and get everything squared away with the core and again your honor i'm so sorry for wasting your time i i i, I don't know how this happened i I'm just, I'm just so sorry the defendant is placed on probation for a period of 24 months he is to pay 1255 dollars fines and court costs 100 dollars prosecution recovery costs 100 dollars police agency recovery costs 720 dollars probation oversight fees when are you going to pay that your Honor, if if I can only do five days, I could pay it within the next time I get paid. I am, this is not a negotiation. Okay. I don't know where you got that idea. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Um, I get paid on the 15th. I can at least pay $500 on the 15th and then uh, set up a You don't have anything today? today? Um, I, I could pay $500 today. $500 today. The balance is arranged by probation. There is to be no use of alcohol, recreational marijuana, or illegal substance shall be subject to random testing as requested by probation. You are to complete an outpatient substance abuse program, including all aftercare recommendations with status reports to probation. You are to attend two AA meetings per week with monthly verification to probation. You are to provide victim's impact panel attendance to probation. Did you go to that already? Yes, I have completed this already. Then get the information to probation. Okay. The scram tether will continue until proof of enrollment in substance abuse treatment. Here is the cold-hearted reality regarding jail terms. Sir, you decided after having a prior to get on the road and you had a 0.16. You were almost a 0.20. You didn't get caught. You come before this court. And unlike a lot of other folks, you violated twice giving me some excuse. Quite frankly, I think that the recommendation of probation is exceedingly fair and, and quite frankly lenient, and I will follow the recommendation because quite frankly, were it up to me, given what I see in this case, you'd probably be doing the whole year. 365 days in jail. I'll give him credit for the six that he served. Defendant is to serve an additional 10 days. You are to report to the Washington County Jail by 6 p.m. today, and then the balance of any time will be suspended. I will tell you that if you fail to report by 6 p.m. today, warrant will issue for your arrest. You will be held without bond. When you come back before me, the one thing that you can bet on is you'll do the remainder of the 365. Anything further? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Or calls case, people versus Ryan Cagle. Mr. Cagle, anything you want to say before I impose sentence? Uh, I'm just sorry for the whole incident, sir. All right.
Plus, you're on the prosecutor's deferred sentence program for a period of six months. You're going to pay $480 fines and court costs, $180 probation oversight fees. When are you going to pay that? I'm sorry, what was the total of it, sir? Well, I didn't give a total. 480 plus that's it's 560, 660. Oh, okay, uh, I have half of it today. And then you got 330 today? Yes, sir. Nobody just has 330. You got 350, don't you? I, uh, I, no, I might have. No, I have you got 340. You got more than 330. Oh, Nobody sir. just has 330. I'll count it for you. What do you have? Two, 330. That's what gets me. I got a 50 and then 80. Curveball. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Nobody ever has 330. I should make it all payable today because he had cash. He can find more. You'd be doing me a <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Pay, the three, pay the 330 today. When are you going to pay the balance, young man? I will go pay it as soon as my wife gets home. No, today. <laughs> You're going to pay everything today? The 330, yes, sir. Is that what I'm paying? Oh, I thought you said I don't have to pay 330. So, sorry. <laughs> um, I can pay half of it today then. And then, uh, I, I don't what are you know. What talking about? All right, you're going to pay three thirty today. Yes, then sir. Then when are you going to pay the balance? The other three thirty. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, can I have maybe a month to do it? <laughs> balance. <laughs> I, I thought balance. No, don't. You know what? Because you're going to have to talk to your wife, and that's going to be it. The balance will be paid by June thirteenth. Yes, sir. Okay. 2022. Complete a theft class within 60 days. I saw him. He needs to do it. Theft class within 60 days. Complete 25 hours of community service as directed by probation. No going to any Walmart in the state of Michigan. Uh, set a review hearing November 9th, 2022 at 9 a.m. 90 days in jail suspended. I saw him cross it to the side. He didn't. I didn't see everything. I can see everything on this screen. All right. Get the 330 down here. Yes, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Or calls the case of the people versus Elizabeth Harless. Assistant Public Defender Melissa Kleeman on behalf of Ms. Harless. And ma'am, can you unmute and state your name for the record, please? Elizabeth Harless. Harless. And we the chance to go over the pre-sentence report in this matter. We are in agreement that it is factually accurate, and we're asking the court to adopt probation's recommendation. I actually hey, have Mr. really good. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually have really good news that I, um, well, not me. My boyfriend got the job, and his first paycheck is coming on Friday, so I can pay at least half of the um sell Um, if you guys can't do Saturdays, and I can pay it on Monday. Because uh, the paycheck, I don't know what time the paycheck is going to come through on Friday. And um, I can probably pay the rest of it next month. Because they, they wanted to do the nine-month um, uh, probation because we're worried about paying all of it. But I can pay all of it by next month. Okay. So he started working, he's getting a check, and you're just going to take it? No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> well, the, the truth is that I bust my ass uh, for about two or three years while he stayed home with the kids, and now it's my turn. There you go. Okay, go ahead. That's that's fine with me. Yep. I'm going to take her phrasing as a, as a legal term. <laughs> that, that, that is, all right. <laughs> Your Honor. Teresa Player, on behalf of probation, given light of what she's providing the court now, probation's not opposed to reducing that down to a six-month prosecutor deferred and reducing the oversight fees to 180. Yeah, everything's coming to be for her. She... All right. Ma'am, anything else you want to tell me before I impose sentence? I just want to, I want to thank you for what you do and helping keeping us in line by keeping the word in a, a better place. And I am truly am sorry for what I did. Thank you for that, ma'am. It is you. a sent it's a sentence of the court. I'm gonna place you on the prosecutor's defer deferred sentence program for a period of six months. Okay. You're to pay five hundred and fifty-five dollars fines and court costs, one hundred and eighty dollars probation oversight fees, 
one hundred fifty nine dollars and fifty two or an eighty two cents restitution to Walmart payable through the court. You're to complete a theft class within 60 days. You're to complete 25 hours of community services directed by probation. Set a review hearing for November 9th, 2022. And I'll order 93 days in jail that is suspended. For calls the case of the people versus Marquita Simmons. Public Defender Melissa Kleeman on behalf of Ms. Simmons. And ma'am, can you unmute and state your name for the record, please? <laughs> That's probably not Miss Simmons talking, but I'm hearing I'm hearing something. Oh, my, yeah, my baby, my baby just sent it. <laughs> okay, all right. Because I was saying she sounds like a little baby, but when she's not even moving her lips, I thought. That was okay. All right. Great. And we are just asking if we could have the briefest adjournment. I'll adjourn the matter June 1st, 2022, 9 a.m. All right, ma'am? Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Exactly how I feel. All right. Court calls the case. People versus Tyrone Smith. Assistant Public Defender Melissa Kleeman on behalf of Ms. Smith. And ma'am, can you unmute and state your name for the record, please? I'm here. Court calls the case, People versus Ernest Anderson. I'm here. I'm here. And uh, go ahead and say your name, please, Mr. Anderson. Ernest Anderson. Thank you, sir. Sir, on behalf of probation, Your Honor, Mr. Anderson is scheduled before the court for a violation of probation hearing. Mr. Anderson is non-compliant with the terms ordered by the court in that he has uh, owes $1,603. His last payment to the court was in November of 2021. He has a payment plan arrearage of $462. He has had positive drug screens for marijuana on March 22nd, April 13th, May 6th, and he missed a drug screen on May 5th. I'm assuming that his drug screen on May 6th was a makeup test. Um, there was use of alcohol on March 19, 2022. Um, with the police report, it indicates that he was highly intoxicated. I did not have a, a BAC uh, from that date or a PBT. However, it does reference that he smelled highly of intoxication. Um, he is engaged in home and new vision through a substance abuse program. He is now re-engaged in that program. I did get a favorable report for him that he is now compliant. However, that's just as recently as March of 2022. He also, Your Honor, has a new pending criminal matter for a domestic violence uh, third degree or third offense. And that alleged date of offense was the March 19th. And there is a PCC in that matter on June 9th. Probation is recommending that he be remanded to serve 10 days in jail for his violations to date, that he report to the Washtenaw County Jail by 6 p.m., that he pay his 462 arrearage within 14 days, and that he continue probation and a warning from the court regarding his continued um, positive drug screens with the marijuana and become compliant and remain compliant with all other terms ordered by this court. Response. Your Honor, I did have an opportunity to speak with Mr. Anderson and review the alleged violations. And um, there will be an admission to the, uh, I'll call them technical violations uh, with respect to the money owed to the, I'm sorry, Your Honor, it was uh, with the money owed to the court and the positive drug screens. However, there won't be any admission or comment regarding the pending charges or anything arising out of it as those still are pending and I think aren't scheduled for the probable cause conference until early June. Um, with respect to Mr. Anderson, uh, he is currently living with his mother. He does have a good job working for a landscaper. He's worked that job for the last three years. He has two children, a 17 year old and six year old son. 
and um, he denies any issues with his mental or physical health. Uh, he has been positively engaged in home of division. And what I'm asking the court to do today, instead of imposing the 10 days in jail, which will make it difficult for Mr. Anderson to maintain his employment and ultimately pay what he owes the court, is to defer that sentence to a later date and have him come back pending what occurs in the uh, new charges, uh, since I think that may ultimately be what's driving the bus here. Sentence of the court. Mr. Anderson, do you anything you want to tell me? You're muted, Mr. Anderson. Sorry, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry for coming toward the court like this. I do apologize for you having to see me on this day. Um, I can pay the 462 within 14 days if I do not do 10 days in jail. Uh, there's no possible way I can do that um, if I get 10 days in jail. I, I am currently employed. I'm currently working right this second. So I can pay that balance on my next check, which will be a Friday. Well, not this Friday, but next Friday. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm even asking for, you know, two, just the 14 days to make sure I pay it. And then we can see how we'll go, we'll, what goes from there. You have all of these opportunities to get this done and to do whatever. I don't have anything when I look at your sentence and this violation of probation here. I don't have any positive point. And Mr. Anderson, you just got to do better than that. I do not like necessarily having to send people to jail. And I think you can do better, but you just, I, I don't understand. Why I, I can do I, better, sir, and, and, and you're right. Hang on. When I sentenced you, I really thought I was not going to have you back here. And you just gone along and you just messed this up. So I'm going to follow the recommendation of probation. The defendant is remanded to the Washington County Jail. He's to serve 10 days for his violations to date. I am going to order that he report to the Washington County Jail by 6 p.m. today, or bench warrant will issue with no bond. And he is to still pay the $462 a year. I will, however, continue his probation. So hopefully, he will get through this. You Can gotta I, stop with your positive drug test. You're just not yes, even. Sir. To what everybody is saying, you just you do it your own way, and that's not how it's going to work. And then remain compliant with other terms and conditions. Yes, sir, sir. Yes. Is there any chance I can get 21 days instead of 14 to pay that 462? I just, I, I mean, we're just getting back to work. I just need a 40-hour paycheck, and I was working on it this week, but I, you know. What if given 21 days to pay it. Just don't mess it up. Don't mess up again, Mr. Anderson. I will not. Thank you. Thank you. Court calls the case people versus Larry Chapman. And Andrew Meyer on behalf of Larry Chapman. Mr. Chapman, could you uh, state your name for the record? Larry Chapman. Thank you, sir. Teresa Flair on behalf of probation, Your Honor, Mr. Chapman's before the court for a violation of probation. Um, Mr. Chapman, um, as the court can see that this case is very old, it's from 2014. Mr. Chapman is non-compliant with any of the terms ordered by the court. He still has a balance of $1,920. His last payment to this court was in 2019. Um, he's failed to complete outpatient treatment. He's failed to complete or provide proof of attendance of the victim's impact panel. He failed to provide proof of his employment, and he's failed to report to probation since March of 2019. He also has outstanding warrants at the 34th District Court. Um, he has three of those, one at the 25th District Court and one out of the 1482 District Court. Probation is recommending that he be remanded to serve 93 days in jail with credit for 20 days served to serve the balance and to report to the Washtenaw County Jail by 6 p.m. today, that he complete the in-jail John Farm program, waive remaining terms, accept financial obligations, and discharge from probation without improvement. 
respond. Your Honor, I did have an opportunity to speak with Mr. Chapman and review the uh, alleged violations here, and there will be an admission today to the violation. Um, Mr. Chapman did explain to me that he is currently residing in Saginaw, Michigan with his fiance, and he's been there for the last 11 months. Um, he's not presently employed. The last job he held was in 2019 when he worked on an assembly line. Um, he does have three children who he is responsible for looking after. He has a nine-year-old, a five-year-old, and a four-year-old, and there is no alternative uh, daycare option for him at this or for them at this point because um, the child's mother, who he lives with, is currently working. So, Mr. Andrew, or excuse me, Mr. Chapman is the full-time caregiver for those three children. Um, he does suffer from some back pain, uh, and he does admit that he in essence, didn't follow through with this probation. Um, he understands that it will likely be difficult, if not impossible, for him to complete the probation from where he is right now in Saginaw. Um, however, in light of the fact that this is an older case and that Mr. Chapman would very much like to move forward, I'm asking the court, and Mr. Chapman's asking the court to exercise some leniency and not impose the full amount of uh, jail time that he has remaining over his head, I think the full 71 days. Rather, we were asking for a sentence somewhere between 10 and 30 days. I think that would be an appropriate sanction. Uh, it would allow him to move past this and he's willing to come down and uh, turn himself in and, and comply with that. Um, I think the 71 days could really offset um, his family and, and his children who, who need him for care. So we're asking the court to impose a slightly uh, less long sentence than what probation is asking for. Mr. Chapman, anything you want to tell the court? Yes, I'm sorry for my actions. I know I should have took care of this a while back. Moving on, I'm trying to be a better father and, and hold it down for my kids. So wherever I can do, I'm, I'm willing. Should have done it. I just don't even understand. Not that hard. 93 days in jail, credit 20, defendant is to serve the balance. I will indicate given where he is right now, he's to report to jail by 6 p.m. on this Friday the 13th or bench warrant will issue without bond. He is to complete while in there the jail, in, on, in jail Don Farm program. If he can get into the program, complete it, the court will consider an early release, but I'm not guaranteeing it. I'll waive any remaining terms except his financial obligation, obligations and discharge him from probation without improvement. Thank you. It, Your Honor, not to quibble, but I think the probation I, report I, did I, say 22 days credit, so I would ask that he be given that. And I think that is accurate. I just checked. The 500, what are you getting out? What do the 500 do, uh, apply? I just got out and paid 500. I paid 500. dollars oh, Hold on, Mr. Chapman. We're just looking at something in terms of your credit time. Oh. We'll adjust his credit. He just needs to get down to the jail. I, I'll, I understand. I'll, yeah. I'll I, adjust I, it. Or cause the case. People versus Denisha Hill. Um, Amber Harris listening on behalf of Miss Denisha Hill. Miss Hill, if you are present, can you please let me and state your name for the record? She's here. Continue making the payments. I'll adjourn this matter out to August 10th, 2022 at 9 a.m. It will be paid by you. Thank you. Miss Hill, what were you yes. painting? Oh, um, like a landscape. I'm, I love to paint and I quit smoking, so it helps. <laughs> Okay, because like we were we were watching you and you I didn't know what you were painting. I didn't know what you were doing. My goodness. Helps you quit smoking. Well, you quit were up. I will say this, you were all into it. We were just sitting it's, here watching you. And then somehow or another you got you got a like a bottle of paint and you didn't like the color, and then you comparing the colors, you didn't know it's okay. I was just watching you, and I'm thinking, no, she don't like that bottle of paint. <laughs> then you held up the other one next to it, and then you were comparing the paint 
trying to figure out which one you're going to use. Then you set them down like, okay, I'm going to make this work. And then you put them down. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm like, she is all into whatever. Then, for whatever reason, that didn't work. So you needed to go get a box. And so you're looking around. And then next thing you know, you brought back a box. I didn't know what the box was. So the my thing. recorder said, is it is that diamond dots or something? <laughs> I do that too. I do okay, that too, but, but I do that too. I love it. But but that I isn't diamond dots. Fun. That was something else. No, this is yeah, just a painting. Okay. Painting, I love the paint. Just that's it. Just no, painting. it's okay. <laughs> I'm just saying she was all into it and Somehow or another, the paint must have dried in the thing because she was pouring water in, getting it yeah. back to life. Yep. And then you were worried about the one that you were looking in. I, it was to the, the the lighter end of the, the little thing. Oh, Not that I'm paying it. real close attention, right? <laughs> and then you're there. You you are like all in and trying to figure out how you're going to re, reinvigorate the paint. Okay. <laughs> Pass the time. It's very fun and relaxing. No, you go right ahead. I just said she is she is well into that. And I would I appreciate it. And I was watching it because I can't paint a lick. So I <laughs> I cannot stay in lines. I can't nothing. So I was impressed. Thank you. <laughs> All right. You. Have a good day. You do the same. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Work all days, people versus Deshante Magari. Um, Amber Harris was on behalf of Deshante Magari. Miss Magari. What was that? I don't know. What, man. what how did you pronounce her name? Hold how on. did you pronounce what? it? No. You how did you pronounce it? I want to hear it with the Tennessee accent. How how do you pronounce her last name? <laughs> I don't want to say it anymore. No, no, I want you to say it. Do I have to order you to say it? I don't know. I don't say want to her do it name. Now. I'm done. No, say <laughs> her name. Miss Sunshine, can you please pronounce your last name? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's Deshante McGoy. 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 I told you that the last time. <laughs> yeah. McGoy. She sent me this every day. I told you. I told you that the last time, and you couldn't hold on to it. Then, <laughs> yeah, because you you called it something else the last time, and then this time you threw some stuff in there. I didn't even recognize it. She didn't even <laughs> think it was her. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> I did have a chance to speak with Miss McGoy. Um, she is. Oh, now she's like, 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 like she. All right, go ahead. She's um she's currently waiting on her first check. Um, she should um she did say that she would be able to uh, make payment um in full within the next two weeks. Really? Well, um, I'm not. <laughs> it ain't all like that. No, I'm not. I, I'm not sure if um if it if they're making if they're paying me a little early my back pay. Or if they're gonna make me wait till they distribute the next payment out um, on June seventeenth, because I do direct care, so we only get paid once a month. So, but whenever I get the check, I was just gonna pay the what is it, almost four hundred dollars in full. I didn't know it was even that, you know, that little bit. But that's all I'm waiting on is my back paycheck, so I can pay it in full. Mister McGoy. Here's what I'm going to do. I believe you. Because I can pronounce your name. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to indicate in my file that you're going <laughs> that you can that you're going to pay this in full. I'm going to adjourn this out to August 10th. Just make sure you, Miss McGoy, you get it paid in full. Yes, sir, I right? will. <laughs> and if you get it paid in full, then this will be done and we don't have to listen to somebody mispronounce your name. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You have a good day, Miss McGoy. <laughs> Thank you. You guys too. Take care. Court calls the case people versus Jonathan Smith. He's here. He's like, he's like sitting there, like all patient, thinking I'm gonna be nice to him. I'm not gonna be nice to him. That's fine. <laughs> 
he's like, he's like, oh, he seemed in a good mood. No, it ended. He was mad at first. What you say? The Jew was mad at first. She was giving it to everybody. I I'm was not giving it to anybody. See now I'm he's stuck. Now, he now he's going to now. Now now he's going to poke the bear, and this is going to all end up bad. <laughs> I only like people that try. I you don't have to succeed, try. but you got to try. So, Mr. Johnson, how much do you owe? You, yeah. Well, here we go. <laughs> I know it's a lot. <laughs> have you done anything on the cases? No. A little bit. I do what I can. Don't you read off nothing? You see? <laughs> no, I'll read it off. <laughs> Cause, cause you be embarrassed if this is all you can. Now, <laughs> when I could do it, Mr. Johnson, let's get this stuff paid. How that you gonna get it paid? Let's start with the smaller one, cause you owe. This is on case seven seven six. You owe two hundred and twenty five dollars. Okay. How you gonna get that paid, young man? Money. Okay, see, now you're going to get smart. And no, I'm going to have to get in my truck and you're going to have to ride no, up on him. Last and year, how he asked me that too. Like, how are you going to pay it? And I said, uh, well, with money. He was like, well, you could pay me money or time. And I'm like, I'm money. So always money. I got to make that clear. Money. I don't have the time to get <laughs> okay. it. I got money. Oh, you want me to throw you in jail? No. Oh, okay. I'm just asking. I didn't know what you were talking about. All right. <laughs> How are you going to get this one paid? Let's start with the smaller one. How are we going to get this case gone? Um, you said it's 226? 225 on that case. I can have that paid off by the 15th of next month. Of June? Yeah. And then the red, like... the Hold the, on, hold on. So this case, down. defendant to pay... In full by June fifteenth. Okay, two thousand twenty-two. Then and then what I'll do? What's my July date? I'll adjourn this matter to July thirteenth, two thousand twenty-two at nine. Or resume Zoom invite in the case. But if you get that paid, I don't need to see you on that. Got that? You gonna see me because I'm not gonna have all the money for the other one. Well, hold on a minute. I'm going to do something else with the other one. So you got to pay that one, the 225. I want that one paid off by that day. Okay. okay. Now on this other one, you owe 795. So you owe 800. So how are you going to try to get that one paid? Let's start with the time after the after June 15th, because I want you to get that file gone, that other one, right? So this one, you were going to pay me two. Man, tell me something you can do on this, Mr. Smith. On the 800 one? You're right. Um, I could put 50 on that one tomorrow. Okay, and then... After June fifteenth, what can you pay? What, what can you do on that? So I'm going to say you're going to put fifty on this one on May thirteenth, this Friday. Okay. Okay. Then, then because yeah. you're you're going to pay the other one off at two twenty five by the middle of next month. So starting from that point, how how much can you pay on this one? Um, the following week from the fifteenth would be a, the 22nd, I could put another 50 down and just do 50 every two weeks. And then 50 starting June 22nd. Yep. Well, yeah, June 22nd, 2022, and $50 every two weeks, right? Yep. Is that what you were saying? Yep. Oh my God. Then, now you know I made this before, and then I'm going to adjourn this one to August 10th, 
2022. See where you get on this one. Okay. okay. So, Mr. Smith, get that other one paid off. It becomes a lot easier when you got one case and I can try to work with you to try to get it done. Okay. Okay. Don't just tell me, okay, you better, you know what? We're going to come back here and I'm going to end up having to do uh, something. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't got a better position at my job, so it's, I could afford it. Or so. Okay. All right. Okay, we're all set then. Take care, Mr. Smith. Thank you. Okay, that's it for my one o'clock show. Or docket. So, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. All right, so we'll be back at two o'clock, quarter standing recess. <laughs>